Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. We have an outstanding update today from former First Lady Melania Trump and just in a few months could be our next First Lady, Melania Trump. Well, that's what things are looking like right now and today I have an amazing update for you all from both Melania Trump and Donald Trump, all right? They are doing some amazing things and I wanna take advantage of that and share it on my show because the mainstream media is not showing these things and I believe the public deserves to know how good Melania Trump is, how bad Jill Biden is, how good Donald Trump is, and how horrible Joe Biden is, all right? So I wanna share it on my show. We have some great, great news, even a little surprise guest star episode with Baron Trump as well, okay? Trump gave an amazing rally, which I wanna share a little bit of that footage too, uh, in Florida last night. And without further ado, we're gonna read the Bible because God comes first, amen? We're gonna pray, we're gonna read the Bible, Comment amen if you believe that God comes first. I want to see how many people down there are not afraid to comment amen. All right, let's see. This reading comes from the book of Exodus. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them for I... The Lord your God am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your manservant or maidservant, nor your animals, nor the alien within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen. Comment amen down below. That's Exodus 20, 3 through 17. We need to remember right now, my friends, that God is on our side. And that we should worship God, nobody else. Don't not worship anybody else, all right? I know a lot of people, even they say Trump is, you know, people worship Trump. But no, we don't, nobody, people don't worship Trump. I mean, maybe some people, but that's those, you're talking about the same amount of people who also worship Joe Biden, all right? God calls up leaders in our country, in our world. It says that in scripture. God brings up those in authority. But it also says in scripture, God brings those in authority down, all right? Which I believe we're gonna see a massive shift in our country in just a couple of months. And I even heard one person said, oh, on the seventh day, God made the Sabbath day. On the eighth day, God made Trump. <laughs> because God calls up certain, <laughs> I mean, that's a joke. God calls up certain people in authority to be leaders, all right? God has called you, God has called me, God has called all of us, but are you gonna answer that call? I believe Trump, Donald Trump, and Melania Trump have indeed answered those calls. So, anyways, let's dive in. We got a lot to cover, but boy oh boy am I excited. All right, so firstly, Melania Trump and son Barron just came out during Donald Trump's rally. This is amazing. Barron Trump, Donald Trump's youngest son, attended his first campaign rally where he was met with rapturous applause by his father's supporters. Really huge news because the media has literally just, just came out and published these articles about how Melania Trump doesn't, you know, she just made a deal. She's not gonna be on the campaign trail. She's not gonna be, you know, um, making, 
she's she's yeah look at this melania trump might not return to dc full time for a second term i mean the headlines have been going crazy where's melania she she's out of the public eye it's uh melania trump has a special deal with trump that she doesn't want to be a first time first lady and it's like they literally just proved them all wrong by them all showing up at donald trump's they they're literally fishing for just any story but melania trump and even she brought her son bear into the crowd look at this they attended they got a rapturous applause baron just turned 18 pumped his fists and waved at the crowd as the elder trump said welcome to the scene baron reacting to the crowd's applause mr trump said that baron might be more popular than don and eric <laughs> he had he had such a nice, easy life. Now it's a little bit changed, Trump said. Barron, who stands six feet seven, had been shielded from the limelight throughout his childhood, but is understood to be preparing to take a more active political role. Came after Melania Trump, Barron's mother, raised $1.4 million for her husband's campaign at a fundraiser in the couple's Trump Tower penthouse on Monday night. Guys, this is huge news from Melania. People are saying, oh, or the media is saying, this is why you don't want to listen to the media. The media is saying, oh, Melania Trump's not going to be active. She literally just held a campaign fundraiser raising $1.4 million for her husband. That's more than the media or any of these people could ever do for Trump. She raised over a million dollars for the Trump campaign. It's extremely spectacular. She is more involved now than ever before i want to i want to play the video because it's it's super epic uh baron trump got a standing ovation let's see do we have the video yep here we do right here guys let's tune in so epic super epic look at that and he's a, he's a very good guy, I'll tell you. You know, I'm not allowed to call them boy, but he is my boy. He's my boy. They're all my boys, right? You know, yeah. So can be any age, they're your boy, and they're always going to be. And he's a... Look at there, Donald Trump Jr. right there. It's like... Very special guy. Baron Trump. This is the first time he's ever Baron. Humble guy. It runs in the family. They're all looking humble. All looking humble. Look at that, Eric Trump standing up. How cool would it be to go to one of these rallies, guys? That's the first time he's done it. That's the first time, right? Hey, you're pretty popular. I, he might be more popular than Don and Eric. We gotta talk about that. <laughs> talk about that, huh? All right. So, Baron, it's good to have you. Welcome to the scene, Baron. I don't know. <laughs> he had such a nice, easy life. Now it's a little bit changed. Anyway, a special guy, right? What an amazing 18th birthday present. He just turned 18, and then he gets a standing ovation at the rally. How amazing is that? Trump makes first-time announcement about Baron at the Florida rally. How outstanding, my friends. Now, Donald Trump just went on the Megyn Kelly show to talk about Melania. Melania is ready to join the scene, my friends. I mean, I don't know if you saw this article, but Donald Trump said very soon about Melania Trump joining the campaign. He says she's coming very, very soon to join the campaign. Melania... We could just see, for the first time, officially join the Trump campaign, raising over a million dollars. I don't know how you can get even more involved and more supportive than she is right now. I mean, we all know that, Don that Melania Trump loves her husband, but now it's even more solidified. All the rumors are gone, guys. The liberals, they have nothing else to... The, the, the liberal media... 
They don't have anything else to say. They can't publish any more of these fake stories because Melania just had a campaign fundraiser making 1.4 million bucks and she just went to the rally with Barron. And I did talk to the former president about everything from his legal battles to abortion, the economy, and also foreign policy. But I also asked him something Republican voters have been asking me. Where's the former first lady? A lot of your supporters are asking when I'm out on the trail, when are we going to see the first lady out on the trail? Oh, I see. She's right now with Barron in school. She loves that boy. And uh, she's very popular. She actually is. Oh, and she'll be with us. She's very, very supportive. We'll see her on the trail soon? Yes. Soon, yeah, pretty soon. When it's appropriate, but pretty soon. She is a mother. It's very normal for a, 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 a good woman to take care of her, their their son. <laughs> it's very normal, my friends. They have a great family. Uh, she's a private person, a great person, very confident person, and she loves our country very much. She'll be, uh, she'll be at the appropriate time, she'll be out there. And honestly, I like to keep her away from it. It's so nasty mm -hmm. and so mean. Exactly. Because it's people like you. She doesn't realize that Trump is referring to people like her. <laughs> <laughs> They're so nasty and mean. It's it's true. So let's listen to Donald Trump talk about Melania in this new interview. I haven't seen a lot of Melania lately. How's she doing? And how's Barron doing? Because I know he's senior in high school now. Yeah, he is. he's doing really well. He's in school. Uh, she's doing very well. She's very strong, very, um, very even keeled. And she's a very good woman, as you know. Uh, she was a very popular first lady. I mean, I go out to rallies and they have pictures of Melania with We Love Our First Lady with so many posters, you know, where they're in the audience and they're, because we're getting big, we had the biggest rallies we've ever had. Do you had, believe they never put her on Vogue, on the cover of Vogue, uh, and they just, they just put yeah, Kareem Jean Pierre in there? No, can you believe it? Can you believe it? She no, no, they did not. Kareem Jean Pierre? Cover of Vogue? You're joking me, right? Where is she? Vogue. You gotta be joking me. They put this woman. <laughs> this is the white. This is Joe Biden's press secretary. All right, guys. Vogue just completely lost all credibility. I mean, wow. They did an entire, an entire. You're joking me, right? What the? What is this? This is malarkey. You guys saw the Michelle Obama on Vogue, right? I mean, okay, okay, you're gonna put Michelle Obama on, but not Melania? Okay. That's a creepy looking smile if I've ever seen one. Couldn't they do another photo of her? Is this the best photo they got of her? I'm sorry, but. And then they have the audacity to put Jill Biden on too. Oh, Joe, Joe, you answered all the questions. You answered, you did so good up there, Joe. What a joke, Vogue sucks. I'm sorry, but Vogue sucks. She was on the cover of Vogue before she met me. Yeah. And during, but once I said I'm running for president, that was uh, that was the end of the cover. What's a typical dinner? It's by the way, that? and it's so sad. Because, but she doesn't care. She's been on the cover of the magazines for a long time, and she was on the cover of Vogue before. Yeah, she was on the cover of Vogue a long time ago, and then once she married Donald Trump and they got into the political campaign, then. Then they stopped putting her on the cover. Because they did put her on the cover a long time ago. Donald Trump's new bride. See, they even, this was before Donald Trump announced he was Republican. They loved her then. They wanted Melania on, in vogue then. What a gorgeous woman. What an absolute beauty. I'm not denying it. Donald Trump, he really lucked out. I mean, this is, a, this is an amazing, oh, and they put Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris. You, you. Vogue sucks, I'm sorry, but Vogue literally can go down the toilet. And she was actually very friendly with Anna Winter, but once I ran for politics, that was the end of that, and that's okay. She's very, uh, she's a very calm person, it's very interesting, and I think that's what people like about her. Uh, dinners are nice, dinners are like other people's dinners, they get along, we get along, we actually get along very well. What's happening with Barron? Is he going off to Barron's, college? And uh, how do you choose one, because they all hate all Republicans, never mind one named Trump. Barron's a, a very good athlete. He's very tall. He is tall. How tall is he? About 6'8". Six, 6'8"? Eight. Six, eight? <laughs> 
Holy moly. And, uh, and he's a good kid, yeah. He's a good looking kid. He's a, he's a good student, great student, actually. Very good student. You want him to go to Warden? Where do you want him to go? No, we're, I, we're thinking about that right now. That's, mm -hmm. Those are the things we're talking about right mm. now. What do you think, Melania is so mysterious to so many. Yeah. What, what do people misunderstand about her? Well, I think part of the beauty is that mystery. You know, I was with Barbara Walters. She was a great friend of mine, and she was an amazing person. She interviewed me many, many times, and uh, I was on her most exciting fascinating. people of the most fascinating people of the year. I think more than anybody else. I mean, she was, I was on there a lot. This was even before politics, right? But Barbara was unique, and I said, so you've interviewed everybody. Who is the one that you would like to interview more than anybody else if you could have? She said, that's easy. I said, who, Greta Garbo? I said, you want to interview Greta Garbo? Why? Now, she was a great actress, but you know, I want to be alone. She goes, I want to be alone. And uh, she had a great beauty, but she was, very uh, reclusive and never did an interview. I don't say Melania is like that, but she is a... She's a private person, guys. You don't need to be, you don't need to succumb to the hatred of the media. I mean, if Melania was out with Trump every single day, that's, that's what the media would want, right? That's, they, the media would be taking photos of her, publishing hate articles about her all day long. It's almost like Melania's given them the middle finger by not coming out all the time. Much more, you know, she's introspective and she's confident. She doesn't need to be interviewed by you to get ripped apart for no reason. She doesn't need to be out there. She's got confidence. She's got a lot of self-confidence. The people really like her and she was a really good first lady. But, you know, she did the most beautiful job in the Rose Garden. She rebuilt the Rose Garden. It was beautiful. No, it was gorgeous. And got good credit for it. But she did Christmas trees, too, every Christmas. Did the most beautiful job. Oh, I know. And they, and they of course, criticized her, even though Okay, so she did a red trees. They were so beautiful, they killed her. She did uh, a different blue, beautiful trees. She did but, but this is what... Democrats like better on the right. This is their idea of good decorations on the right. This is Joe Biden's Christmas on the right and Melania's on the left. And they criticize Melania for her Christmas decorations. But they praise nobody. All the Democrats love Melania's Christmas on the right. Which in my opinion is a complete embarrassment to Christmas in general. I mean, Christmas is about God. But it's about giving praise to God. Look at that. Be best on the left. I think there's even a few words on there about praise. I mean, it's so classy, though. So beautiful. It's elegant on the left. Look at this on the right. It's, a, it's like Candy Cane Lane. Like It's like uh, Dr. Seuss or something. It's weird. It's super bizarre. Super strange. And they're going to criticize Melania for her... For her decorations, look how beautiful that is. Look what's going on in Jill Biden's Christmas. Holy moly. I actually didn't see the Rose Garden. Did, did you guys see this? The Rose Garden? She rebuilt the Rose Garden. First Lady Melania Trump unveils White House Rose Garden restorations. Did you guys see this? First Lady Melania Trump unveils the newly renovated Rose Garden ahead of the Republican National Convention. The iconic space at the White House will be the backdrop when she gives her speech for the convention. The That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Rose Garden has been under construction since late last month, and the First Lady announced she was spearheading the project. Since then, the space was out of sight to staff and reporters. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is Jill Biden arrives in Columbus. They're chanting Trump, Trump, Trump into Jill Biden. How hilarious. How hilarious is that? Uh, I wanted to play this video of uh, Melania Trump talking to Sean Hannity. Talked about the media, and there's been a lot of controversy because he says it's fake news, or some of it's fake news. Do you agree? Some of it. Some of it is fake news. I would say don't believe everything what you hear and what you read. 
Not all of it, but some of it, it's fake news. She's extremely smart, my friends. Melania is extremely smart. Even your young son has been brought into this at times. That doesn't, uh, that wouldn't make me angry. Does that make you angry? It does make me angry because children should be off limits. And uh, I protect him and I want to give him normal life as possible. Uh, this is not normal life, but I like to protect him and give him the childhood that he deserves. Do you feel it's working out as best he can? I've met him. He seems like a young, very respectful, happy kid. He's very happy, he's strong, he's tough. He's enjoying life in Washington. Who's he more like, the fighter, the outward fighter, Donald, or his mom? He has both qualities. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He has a soft, uh, a beautiful heart, but he's a fighter too, and he's very strong. People don't realize, but this is one of the best couples in our country, let alone, and we're, we're so blessed that we are able to have them in the White House. I mean, they really care. They really care about us, guys. Look at this. Melania Trump tours military bases base, bases, and a Navy craft carrier. I'm honored to be able to say welcome home. And thank you for answering the call of duty. We know that we are free because you are brave. And I speak on behalf of my- You can just tell, people are so ecstatic to see her. People in the military, servicemen and women, they, they, a lot of them, I don't want to speak on behalf of all of them, but they, a lot of them absolutely love, you can just tell, look at their smiles. You don't see that when Joe Biden shows up. My husband, when I tell you, we are forever grateful for your service. The president and I thank you for all that you do. After we leave here, we will be flying to the USS George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier to visit with the crew on board. That stop will not only allow me to visit with more members of our military, but it will be very meaningful after the recent passing of President Bush. I want to let you all know that the President and I are so grateful and have unconditional appreciation for all that you do. I don't know about you, but if I was in the military and Melania Trump gave me that speech, I would start crying and it would be all worth it. There she is. There's Melania, guys. Wow, that is loud. I gotta turn that down. Very awesome. And look at this. Behind the scenes, First Lady Melania Trump's tour, and they this is a Christmas edition. She said, may God bless the United States of America. I wanted to play this, uh, this prayer that she gave. She gave an amazing prayer. She was actually invited to give a speech at a Trump rally. Listen to what, how she starts off her prayer, guys. She's a woman of God. People love her. Look at that. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Common amen. Look at that, guys. Good afternoon. It is my honor and great pleasure to stand here before you as the First Lady of the United States. Wow.
Just imagine this again, guys. Imagine she actually became First Lady again. The America we envision is one that works for all Americans. True. And where all Americans can work and succeed. A nation committed to a greater civility and unity between people from all sides of the political divide. Exactly. I will always stay true to myself and be truthful <laughs> to you, no matter what the opposition is saying about me. So sad. It's so sad that they, people, there's anybody that dislikes this woman. It's so sad. They're so mean, so nasty. I will act in the best interest of all of you. Melania, you don't even need to say that. We trust you. We know that, okay? I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart, which will have impact on women and children all around the world. My husband is creating a country of great safety and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Wow! How beautiful is that, my friends? This was obviously during the last presidency, if you guys didn't, weren't aware. But this is a potential foreshadowing of what's to come. So I have a lot more footage to share, but I'm gonna I'm gonna um, bring it back uh, for the next part for the next video. We have a lot more to cover, so make sure to subscribe for part two of Melania Trump. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and God bless.